All right, this is a quickie. You guys want to see some uh, team camaraderie? Let's see here. Apparently, city. Wait, let me shout him out. Matt Lerma. Matt Lerma. Shout out to Matt Lerma. I think I follow him. Yep, I follow you. I follow you, Matt Lerma. If you're seeing this, he posted not city getting cooked. So this is posted by Devonte Graham, and City Sissoko is getting cooked. I don't know what he's getting cooked for, but we're gonna see what he's getting cooked for. You'll see. Uh, anything we can see right off the bat that would merit getting cooked? I don't think so. I, I think he looks. Uh, I think I think he looks quite well. I, I don't know why. He, uh, Jordan. Uh, not crazy about the Puma slides, but hey, it is what it is. Basketball court. It's a basketball court? That's what that is? That shit weak as hell. The Puma shit weak. Ah, uh, okay, so it was the Puma. Is Graham signed with Jordan or something? I have no idea. I, I don't know how this works. But I will say this. I absolutely adore every single time there's anything pertaining to them interacting with each other. Sweet Nintendo headphones, clan. You know these aren't Nintendo headphones. Why are you playing with me? You know these aren't Nintendo headphones. Big dub tonight. What's a big dub? Um, but yeah, I, I love stuff like this. Dude, I'm going to say this, and I know this might come across, this might be pretty controversial because he hasn't played a lot. Obviously, he hasn't really gotten a crazy amount of opportunity, but I truly do believe that our boy, City Sissoko, could potentially be running the bench unit. I wouldn't be angry in the future, right? That if he were to start and you had Sohan running the bench unit, because we know that Sohan um, in college with Baylor, he's accustomed to doing that. So he can come off the bench, he can be a six man, and he's so versatile that it doesn't really hurt much. And then with someone like City Sissoko, he's such a good defender and he's versatile. He's he, he might not be as versatile as Sohan. Like I would say Sohan can guard probably two through four and City Sissoko is closer to maybe one through three. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, that's a tough one. Cause Sohan on occasion can guard centers, but it, it, it not too not too often. And I think he can guard point guards pretty well, but not too often, not, especially those quick guards. Um, look, both of them are very versatile. I would say City is more of a point of attack defender. The only problem with him is sometimes he gets a little um, reckless defensively. Now, he's not trying to hurt anybody or anything. I think it's just the way that he moves or the positioning of, of where he's at that he gets a little too physical and he can get in foul trouble really fast. Like, that's my biggest issue with him is how quickly he can get in foul trouble. But if he can lay off the fouls, which he's managed to do that um, uh, with, with Austin, he's done a really good job of limiting his fouls and they went down like crazy since last season. I think if he can keep working on that, he will have a true place on the team. And I couldn't, I, I could truly see him either running a bench unit because of his passing ability, because of um, uh, his, his versatility, or I could see him starting. And while I think, think Sohan is a better overall player, that just kind of brings more or brings a little bit more depth being able to uh, uh, switch these guys out whenever you want. I don't know. I'm just really excited about it. I'm excited to see him and... Um, actually gelling with a team that's better and him growing as a player as well he's not ready yet but um i'm glad that we're at least seeing some uh, minutes from city sissoko during during this later stages of the season late stage of the season city still had uh the rookie vibes he's nervous on the court and his movements look jagged he yeah his um well just jaggedness he kind of always had that a little bit but um his passing i think he's he's not being as aggressive because he's trying to stay on the court, but by playing on your heels all the time, you know, it, it's going to be hard to keep you on the court, right? Like you're going to be indecisive and you're, you're not going to trust yourself. Like there's, there's no threat in you scoring because you're going to constantly try to pass the ball up. So, uh, clan, what do you think about Mamu currently? I like Mamu. I've always liked Mamu. I think he's a high basketball IQ player. He's just one of those where if we don't have, uh, room for him if we don't have a a place for him then i don't want him like wasting his time or anything but i think he's a really good player yeah i think he's a really good player we're, we're, we're gonna see we're gonna be able to assess who should stay who should go like near the end of the season i think and that'd just be a better overall like okay things are over how did people end because there's a few more games left uh for us to even assess right like there, there's a few more and, and mamu you know he's on and off but he plays pretty high basketball 
or has high basketball IQ. So I'm always for it. So how many Spurs players we got playing for the country in the Olympics? I don't even, I don't know. I, I don't know that at all. Wimby and Mamu combo was great. Way better than Mamu, or way better than Wimby and Sohan, in my opinion. Uh, um, I guess. The thing is, Sohan just brings so much more than Mamu, I think, especially defensively. Um, but yeah, Sohan is in a. I think Mamu might be a slightly more versatile passer, but I don't know. It's it's not enough. Like it's such a small. Keep in mind, dude, it's such a small sample size, right? Like we've seen Wimby and Sohan grind it out during games and do a pretty good job. Um, Wimby and Mamu, it's, it's it's such a small sample size for us to say, like Wimby and Mamu is a better duo than Wimby and Sohan. Like I I don't know. And keep in mind, Mamu is older and he's more he's more of a uh, polished player. Oh, July. Mamu's game is so polished. He's a team player with high energy. Yeah. Like, any, if, like, if I'm being completely honest, with Sohan being so young and Wimby being so young, any veteran on the court with Wimby would look better than Wimby and Sohan. Like, seasoned veteran would look better. Seriously. And then we would just be like, oh, but they're better. It's like, eh. Let it play out. I mean, if they, they had as much playing time as him and Sohan, maybe, but I mean, we could be able to say. I, don't know. I thought you said Sohan was Draymond's stats. This season, stats say otherwise. How he let Draymond old butt outdo him in steals, rebounds, and assists, and blocks. I, that still stands, right? Like I said, Sohan has Draymond's stats based on where Draymond was in his career like Draymond's second year and Sohan's second year their stats are nearly identical that's what I said that still stands that doesn't change Draymond is a better player than Sohan but like if we're going back in time and we're trying to compare I could see Sohan being on the track of being more clo like closer to a Draymond Green than anything like if we can't compare him to Draymond Green who do we compare him to right like seriously if you, can, if you can't compare Sohan to Draymond Green, then who are we even comparing him to? Nobody? No. Draymond is a vet. Sohan is a second-year player. Why are people trying to hate on Sohan? I don't know. But, yeah, you can't. Yeah, Sohan ain't nowhere near Draymond. Sohan is a sophomore player. Of course he's not Draymond. Of course he's not Draymond. Draymond is eight seven six. Sohan is twelve six three. I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried about that. that's true. But I'm, I'm not even worried about that. I, right now, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, especially with Draymond. Draymond defensively is still really good. It's still kind of hard to tell right now. But I'm not saying Sohan is prime Draymond Green. Okay, I'm just saying when Draymond Green was in his second year in the NBA versus Sohan in his second year, their stats are nearly identical. Also, Draymond Green was older than Sohan during his second year. So, there's that. When Mamu gets minutes, he's he delivers. He did a good job. I like Mamu. You know what? You know what actually really sh uh, shocked me was Mamu and Zach Collins. Man, I, I really liked them gelling. It's oh man, it's gonna be really hard to balance this come off season because. We obviously need to need to keep Don Barlow, right? But man, man, oh man, Zach Collins and Mamu look good together. If you need someone close in age, Sohan is comparable to Franz Wagner. That's my hot take. Wimby is being so young and so good, he makes normal players' progression look slow. It's sad for Sohan. That's true too. Sohan was getting so much praise last season, and I guarantee you, if Wimby wasn't here, he would still be getting that praise. But yeah, because Wimby's so good, everyone else is under like a microscope. I mean, we got people calling them for sale trash. Good stuff. 